Howdy everybody and welcome to a new series about the fundamentals of Game Maker Studio 2. In this series we'll be discussing some of the most basic topics and getting you ready to start using a brand new uh, file of Game Maker 2. So let's get cracking on this. Today we are going to start with uh, sprites. So let's start a new project here. Make sure we're using Game Maker language and give it a name GMS2 Fundamentals there we go to get ourselves started with the sprite we need to go over to the sprites section of our resources bar right click create a sprite now we have our sprite available along with all of our different options so let's give it a name Sprite underscore uh, sprite. We can change the size of the sprite using our uh, scaling and resizing properties menu. So we can go to 32x32, or we can change the canvas size and anything else we really wanted to do. And if we want to edit the image, such as uh, and use our sprite editor, click on the edit image. So in this case, I want to give it a color, fill it in. There we go, nice and red. There are several different other options that we can use, stuff as, such as in the image where we can resize all of our frames. And one of the more important ones will be convert to frames, where we can tell it how many frames there are and how many frames per row, etc. So let's say this five frames, five frames per row, and you're four by four so there we go four one two three four five if we hit convert then it would convert this into five frames of four by four so actually let's do that real quick except we're going to go to six by six there we go there we go now we got a bunch of different frames so let's go over here back to our beginning Hit that in and it'll get it back to the make it big enough to see. So let's say we want to center the origin of our sprite. That would be the origin right here. So when it draws the sprite, the sprite would draw from this position. So if it was at x equals zero zero, then this would be drawn up like negative three, negative three, because the origin would be down here at zero zero. and uh, import we have the opportunity to import images from wherever that we wanted to to be able to use those as our sprites so uh, if we go over here we got a bunch of different images that we could import so if we want to do that just put open and that would make that our sprite uh, then we have different options so we can tile it or give it a separate texture page you don't really need to worry about that unless you're doing 3d and edge filter and pre-multiply and alpha again those more 3d options uh, with our frames here we can rearrange them however we desire so one two three four whatever and we can add another one if we need more or subtract them if we don't need as many and I only really need two frames overall let's resize this back to 32 by 32 when you resize it there that affects all of the frames so be careful when you're resizing that you don't think you're just resizing one frame all the frames are resized at the same time now lastly we have our frame speed here so we have set our sprite to have a frame speed of 15 frames per second. So we do that or we could have frames per game frame. So if we were to say have we have frame per second, so that'd be 15 frame per second. Or we could have frame per game frame, so that'd be 15 frames per Per game frame and if the frame games are already 60 frames per second 
and we're having 15 frame per game frame, then that's going to be moving really fast. So uh, we probably don't want that. We'll just leave it at that for time for the time being. And if we press the play pause, then you can see we're animating at 15 frames per second. And we could slow it down to one. Not moving very fast now. And so on and so forth. Stop that. Toggle loop. So you can loop it or not. All right, I think that's everything you need to know to get started with sprites. So thank you very much for watching, and good luck with your coding.